What's up, guys? Welcome back to Digital Diving, the proper <laughs> gaming talk show. It's your boy Monkey with me today. Is SGK? He was gonna tone down the introduction. <laughs> I, toned, I toned it down a bit. It is Friday, September seventeenth, and we got a buttload of news for you guys today. Most of it pretty good. Uh, starting off with a bunch of game delays, which some might take as good, some might take as bad. We here actually take it as good news, uh, <laughs> for the most part. Uh, Dying Light 2 has been delayed until February 2022. So that means we are adding another game to the huge February. list of Friday releases, or Friday, February releases, including Horizon Forbidden West, Destiny 2, Witch Queen... Sifu, Saints Row, and uh, oh my god, so many more. There's like nine games coming out within like three weeks of each other. Yeah, and they're oh all AAA god. mainstream games, which yeah. is just like ridiculous. Oh my god. Um, I, my whole thing, broke. <laughs> I was, uh, the, my whole thing is I was using, I was going to use Dying Light as my Steam Deck test. If I oh. could run that shit seamlessly smooth, because I already appeared on the Steam Deck and I'm paying yeah, for it in December. And that was going to be my, like, it was going to be Dying Light 2 Steam Deck. That was going to be my, you know, my December, my Christmas, you know. And I was, <laughs> yeah. I was, but, okay. you know, people are saying that they're, you're not going to get your Steam Deck till, like, maybe April, you yeah, know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, April. So, it kind of aligns Everyone's with hyped. all that, too. Yeah. So. There is that. There is that. So, I mean, take that however you will so um, i prefer it to be delayed rather than them releasing a Rush, bad game yeah. yeah so i'm totally okay i'm just worried that all these games releasing in february are all going to take a hit in terms of their sales numbers guaranteed unless people are totally fine dropping about three hundred dollars on like you know six games <laughs> like god damn i mean honestly everybody my one of my friends is like a huge huge horizon fan and they're just like oh everything's coming out in february r.i.p horizon's gonna win and it's just like <laughs> i don't know i mean i don't know i mean we all know saints row is not gonna win people are already like, no, no yeah no one's gonna buy that game um i think horizon forbidden west obviously is gonna be one of the top dogs there um i might we might see sifu as an underdog there that might come up and Sifu and gold. now Dying Light 2. Dying Light yeah, 2 is... Dying Light 2. It, the top three, the top three almost guarantee are going to be C, uh, Horizon Forbidden West, Dying Light 2, and Sifu. Yeah, guarantee, absolutely. Guarantee. Especially if you yeah. ever play Absolver, Sifu is going to be a huge hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get into Absolver too much, but I know it's a really good game. I, I know, I know. It, I know it's a really good game, though. Yeah. Um, Another game that got delayed recently uh, was Battlefield 2042. So oh, yeah. this one, this one, they just came out and said, "Hey guys, it's just not ready yet. We're not confident with the release yet, so we're pushing it back." It gets pushed back about a month to November 19th. My cat is has the zoomies, um, but there are unconfirmed reports that the game might be delayed into 2022 as well. So we might end up seeing that in February as well. Who I mean, that'll noticed. be fine because then people can suck their dicks on Call of Duty Vanguard <laughs> right. and then like be like, hey, this game sucks. And it's like, oh, well, at least I got better feel to look forward right, to. Next exactly. Year. You know? <laughs> exactly. So there is that. Take that as you will. Again, personally, I think it's a good idea. And even if it doesn't release until 2022, I would still be okay with that because the game looks ambitious as all hell and I want it to be amazing. Also, I want them to launch the game with an anti-cheat already in it. Yes, Call of Duty, I'm calling your ass out for being I mean, Usually, dumbass. people think that'll feel more seriously. Where, like, Call of Duty is like, I mean, hey. Yeah, but they're still hackers. <laughs> like, it's Hackers like, aren't fucking every FPS. Let's be honest here. I mean, true. <laughs> but it's also become a culture to hack Call of Duty. Yeah. Like, well, just yeah, it's, a, it's, the, it's the hack game. Yeah, of course. You yeah. know, but, like, Battlefield, usually people take a little bit more seriously. Yeah, a little but, bit. But yeah. guys, let us know what you think about either of those uh, delays in the comment section below. Moving on. Um, so this guy over here does not have a PS5, and he's broke. So <laughs> he didn't get Deathloop, but yeah, boy, I did. I'm a dumbass, though, because I was talking myself into it the night before it released. And if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you got a discount if you pre-order the game. It's like 7 bucks. Kind of nice. It was uh, $53 instead of 59 which was super cool. 
for the PS5 version of the game. Well, there is only the PS5 version. But anyways, I was talking myself into it. I was trying to like, was like, okay, you know what? I've been seeing all these reviews. I've been seeing all this talk about the game. It looks pretty cool. I kind of wanted to wait around and just see how it went, you know? Because I wasn't like, oh, this is going to be amazing. This wasn't like one of my super hyped up games. I was saying it was going to be amazing. I know, I know. So I was trying to talk myself into it. And then I finally did. And I was like, oh, wait, I have to check my credit card. And then I checked it and made sure it was the right one. And it was. And then as soon as I hit add to cart, it was midnight. And I missed out on the discount. I was like, God damn it. Damn. <laughs> so I missed out on but, a $7 discount. <laughs> I was, I was, I, you know, you know, and we talked about this in other review, in other videos. I've been so hyped for this game ever since I first saw it two years ago. Yeah. What was it a year ago? Uh, yeah. Here's when the thing. first day, dude. It 100% was, lives up to the hype. 100% yeah, lives up to hype. Yeah, I believe it. This game proves all the doubters wrong. Uh, there's obviously going to be a ton of people who still hate the game and they just hate and hate. But everyone who actually plays the game and really got into it. I've only got like about three, four hours into the game. So not super far into the game, but what I've done so far is so much fun. I've killed Juliana once and I felt really good about myself. True. It was the bot Juliana, not an actual player, but still, uh, <laughs> um, and, I, and, I, I, hey, I cheesed her guys, and it was, I was okay with it. <laughs> hey guys, I'm not, um, I'm not broke. I have a $1,600, PC right here, so I'm going to be buying it on PC and about a ne the next paycheck. Yeah. But I, I I also heard that like it's just like it, yeah, it's a bot Juliana. But if you're really into the whole power trip kind of FPS, then you'll be fine with yeah. it. Yeah. Well, the thing is that bot Juliana is the only the only time you get in touch with her is or come into contact with her is at the beginning of the game when you first do it and it's literally just like a training hey julianne is hunting you this is how you take her ass down or escape from her every other juliana you fight after that is going to be a player controlled juliana so that's i'm excited sad. for that i, yeah, can, I cannot I'm wait that's, for that's, that. the, that's the same that's the same mechanic as uh dying Doom light dying what oh i was gonna say doom eternal Oh, I don't know about that. I have haven't come. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. But like you that. can yeah. like like people can like kind of invade your game yeah. or like. And you know, Dying Light was like, the same way where people could invade your game as a Night Stalker, and that was yeah, yeah, yeah. so that much fun. Crazy. But Dude, was, I um, cannot wait for this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a ton of fun. It it's a little jank at times. You uh, the double jump is kind of touchy here and there. The sprinting is very like jolting, which is weird. Yeah, um, and there, I, but for the most part, uh, the stealth is awesome. It literally plays like Dishonored did, which is great because I love Dishonored, but it's mm. not as intuitive as Dishonored. It's a little bit more quicker, mm. faster than Dishonored. Dishonored required yeah. a little bit more focus, which was awesome because you really wanted to be stealthy in that game, otherwise you're screwed. Uh, this one you can just run in head headstrong if you want, <laughs> just guns blazing. It'll, nice. You'll run out of ammo and you'll probably die, but it's still kind of fun. <laughs> um, AI is dumb, but that's kind of the point. They're literally designed to be cannon fodder. However, if you do alert them, they can legitimately kill you. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> and, but, and, and for the most part, there's just some uh, performance issues here and there, like there are with any new release game. I've had some uh, FPS drops um, here and mm -hmm. there. Nothing that bad. And I'm running it on performance mode too, so it keeps at a steady 60 FPS, and I still had a couple drops. So it might have just been the scene I was in. It might have just been some glitch. Who knows? The biggest drop, the biggest issues everyone's talking about are on PC. So I'm sure there's going to be a patch that fixes the PC issues because they're not very widespread. No, I um, <laughs> I I know there's a lot of performance issues but i am still so hyped to get this game yeah i it's honestly awesome. i i honestly can't wait and and then you you played it so <laughs> yeah. it's like now i know i have i have somebody that i know yeah. that played it they're enjoying it oh whenever and, i see you online playing i'm 100 percent invading your ass's game as julian and destroying your shit just letting you know. Just dude, a quick dude, heads up. Dude, I just got to be like, fuck you, Julian. If you try to fucking kill me, I will murder you. I will murder you. Oh, my God. 
especially because think... I've played this game for a little bit already, so I got a handle on the mechanics as soon yeah, yeah, yeah. as you're available. Uh, I'm I will murder you. The hell out of yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Playing as Juliana actually leads to its own. Like, it's actually really, really cool mm. because when you play as her, you can unlock. Um, a bunch of stuff for Colt. So you can unlock all the skins you you unlock for Colt. You have to do w- when you're playing as Juliana, which I think oh, is okay. kind of interesting. Which That's is really, really cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. It kind of force not forces you, but like there's a big incentive to play as Juliana. Question: Is there crossplay? I believe so. There should be. I don't know why there like would be. I, like you know, you can do it with PC and PS5 players. Uh, yeah, you should. I don't think that would be an issue. Okay. Yeah. I gotta look. I gotta confirm that, but I'm not. I'm. I'm pretty sure it's it launched with a crossbody. I don't know why it wouldn't. It just makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, guys. Uh, Deathloop, really, 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 really good game. Uh, definitely game of the year contender for now. Uh, we'll see. Everybody what, took it, shit and, and, on this game for yeah. the last year. Oh. No, it's a good game. It's definitely a good game that you should 100% check out. <laughs> but anyways, um, moving on to. Uh, some PS5 news, and this news might actually allow you to, you know, put Deathloop along with all your other PS5 games on the same system, internal storage, because they just came out with their latest firmware updates that allows you to especially essentially expand the uh, internal storage via an M2 SSD. So basically, they had this all little, uh, you know infomercial basically where it showed you exactly how to take off the panel take off the front thing and then install a new ssd into the slot and this basically gives you i'm saying basically a lot but whatever um this gives you a second fully functional ssd that you can use to copy download update and play all ps4 games ps5 games whatever you want and you can expand it up to four terabytes as long as the ssd fits within the dimensions of what's already available it's in the about PS5. time yeah so ah! that's super cool i mean i mean this isn't really like that surprising because like all these systems like they don't launch with these capabilities it's always added later because it's not like a super viable like it's, it's not something that would like destroy or bring the system down at all you know I mean, i'm pretty sure it's xbox something that did launch i think xbox I did launch with that Thanks. So. Like the ability to upgrade with an SSD card, like um, oh. or SSD drive. Yeah, oh. I think well, it yeah. did start. It, it did launch with that, and I think that's why a lot of PlayStation fans were kind of like, yeah. "Yo, Sony, what's up?" Because I know, I, mean, you I know, know the PlayStation because... launched. The PlayStation launched with the um, ability to use an external hard drive, but you couldn't put PS5 games on only PS4 games. So mm. and then they fixed that, like a, like a month or so after the fact. They updated mm-hmm. that, and now they updated it so you can now expand your internal storage, which is great. No, yeah, that's awesome. I think, you know, it's definitely necessary. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> so, that's... so um, honestly, like, PS5 started off really kind of shaky. Mm. Also, Xbox Series X started off kind of shaky, but I think... They're all. They're both coming into their own. Yeah. In their own right, you know. Like Personally, Xbox I think, is starting. Yeah. No. Personally, I think uh, Xbox started off with a stronger launch, mm-hmm. but PlayStation's gonna be viable for longer. I, I, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting them to be kind of at a standstill. I, 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 it's going to be a stalemate yeah. because the whole complaint with Xbox was that, hey, we don't have any exclusives. Well, now <laughs> we don't have to... any games. You know, now they're starting to flex their games and flex what's going on. You got Atomic Heart. You know, you got Got the space exploration game that came out that nobody expected. Uh, You know, Bethesda's making Elder Scrolls exclusive. You know, so, and then now PlayStation. There's no no confirmation of that yet. There's no confirmation. I hope it's not, but you know, whatever. (laughs) (laughs) You know, and now PlayStation is starting to flex too. So, like, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a stalemate, honestly. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. But guys, let us know what you think about the ability that you can now expand your internal storage. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, while PS5 had a really good update, PS4 got a rocky uh, software update. <laughs> PS4! Uh, <laughs> so the PS4 software update version 9.0 uh, is apparently breaking some systems. 
Now, no. this kind of happens oh, whenever there's no. an update. Sometimes it, sometimes certain systems, there's just a bug for whatever friggin' reason. No one can really figure out why. There just is. But in terms of this one, there's no link to a certain system. It's apparently been happening between base PS4s, uh, for Slim and the 4 Pro. Uh, is, but at the same time, it's also not widespread. It's only ham happening to a handful of people where they're just getting an error message when they boot up the system after the update. Some people have seen their system super slow. Others, the error message. It's a bunch of stuff. Um, but again, and, uh, it's only it's only for certain people. It's not very widespread. So if you're worried, I kind of wouldn't be. That's an but, issue, though. Like, I mean, yeah, uh, of course. Just real quick, I can see our camera in my glasses as a reflection. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, but uh, <laughs> this dude, he's like, he's like, like a squirrel. Like, dude, I can see the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but here's the thing if you don't have stock for ps5 and then some ps4s are bricking sony what are you doing and, and mean, it's not it, it, this is just bugs you, it happens i mean you could say hey it's only some people but i don't think anybody deserves to have a eight-year console brick on them yeah. because of an update that is just even if it's one, it's just, it's unacceptable. No, nah, like, you're, right. you're right. They should really get the shit down by now. Yeah. <laughs> the it's an eight year I console. Really it. This is like, guys, what, why? <laughs> why? And we why can't get so the happy? next one, you yeah. know? So this is what we got <laughs> for people that can't get the next one. Basically. This is what we got. So yeah, uh, I hope Sony really understands what's going on. Everybody's saying that it's because of the new, new president. And I wouldn't put it past them. I'm not going to say that that's what it is. I mean, is, to be but... fair, the, like, the president has little to do with the day-to-day -day shit. They're yeah. just there to make like the big decisions. The like, figurehead. Who yeah. are we buying today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what he does. In terms of like the updates, like he, he's not involved in that. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, but I on. think maybe maybe we should start a new trend where presidents are tech heads. Because... Dude, seriously, this should. <laughs> Honestly, like, you know, you have this president. Yeah, even in other companies, you have presidents making bonehead moves. And it's just like, come on. Well, yeah. You wouldn't have known if you actually were involved in what was going on. So, well, yeah. Anyway. That's why Bill Gates was such a big face in the CEO business. Same with Elon Musk. Same with uh, yeah. even Bezos to an extent. Because they knew what they were doing. Big. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And that's how they their businesses took off and became huge. <laughs> so, yeah. But guys, let us know. Uh, let us know. Anyone out there who has a PS4, if you've updated already, are you experiencing any issues or has your shit been fine? Man, the know. fact that I have a PS4 makes you sound ancient right now. It's, a little bit. It's so weird, you know? Like, <laughs> it was the same thing when I, I got a PS4. I got a PS4, phone. like, maybe a year after you did, and I was just like, <laughs> finally, I upgraded from a PS3. That's right, I came with you to buy your PS4. Yeah, we went, yeah, we went you did. At, like, midnight, high as shit. <laughs> <It> <laughs> to the mall. So dope. Oh, my God, that was fun. Oh, was my fun God. Night. Anyways, so, uh, on to our kind of bigger uh, discussion today. Uh, God of War Ragnarok came out to, like, roaring praise everyone was super hype about it a lot of people are complaining about how it doesn't look any different from the 2018 god of war and like okay you do realize that this game one was not made for next gen it's still being released on the ps4 two the f god of war 2018 looked fantastic like how are you going to really improve on that like here's the here's the thing <laughs> people that care about graphics Graphics can only go to a certain point no, exactly. before they become stagnant. Yeah. So, God of War has hit that point. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Like, that game looked gorgeous at 1080p. This new, yeah. new game's going to be 4K 60 FPS. Guys, chill. It's going to look gorgeous. But the biggest controversies around this game uh, are, uh, like, a couple days after they um, showed off the trailer at the PlayStation 5 Showcase event, uh, they showed off the design for Thor as a big, thick boy. 
And um, everyone's like, well, why is he fat? Everyone's like, literally, literally everyone's just fat shaming Thor. <laughs> I'm over here just like, you don't know Norse mythology, do you? <laughs> like, See, not honestly, at all. <laughs> even if you didn't, even if you didn't know Norse mythology, I appreciate God of War ever since the first God of War oh, for yeah. their take on the gods. Yeah, because they were it's very really accurate. Unique. Yeah, it's really unique and also accurate. It's not just all six packs and fucking exactly, gospel. exactly. Like gods are glutinous creatures, <laughs> and a lot of times they're going to be fat. They're going to be a little bit thicker, but it's because we ha they have power to oh, to exactly. back it. And they before you ask, yes, it. I know my Norse mythology. Okay, I'm wearing Mjolnir right now. Like, come on, guys, <laughs> come on, come <laughs> find me. <laughs> No, but um, the Thor design has been defended by the majority of people I've been saying online. It's been defended by power lifters saying like, hey, do you think I'm not strong because I got a huge ass gut? No, I got strength in my back. My arms are freaking massive. My legs are insane. Mm -hmm. And I got muscle underneath of my belly and I got pec muscles, but I'm still like fat. Like these guys are like yeah. 400 pounds of like huge strength and power like it's insane and that's that's what you would expect from a god you know Basically. you would expect them plus, to be like plus thor is like you know known for his love of food and alcohol and beer and yeah <laughs> and fucking so yeah exactly <laughs> also that's the you, thing if you take sorry i just want to point this out if no, you take no, a look yeah, yeah. at his two sons that you fight in the first God of War, they're both also bigger, beefier dudes. Like, they weren't skinny guys like Balder was. Yeah. Uh, uh, Morty and... Ah, shit, I forget the other dude's name. But they're, I didn't... they're both beefier guys, right? Like, chubbier mm. dudes. So, I mean, the fact that their dad is this giant, massive guy is, ins is make just makes sense. Also, also, it has to be a challenge. Like, yeah. remember when they put remember when they put Hercules in God of War three? Oh you know, my god, it was like yeah. a hulking fat mask. Like yeah. he was, hey, I'm Hercules. Yeah, I was just like, that was kind of crazy. That was nuts. Yeah, also, yes, on. Thor was also redheaded. He wasn't blonde. Shut the hell up. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, all the con no, go ahead. Talk about the next controversy. Yeah, yeah. the next controversy. This guy's going to be talking about a lot. But anyways, a lot of people are pissed off that Angerboda is black. And to those people, I say, if you are one of the people who like the first thing you noticed when they released her was she's black. That says a lot about you because the first time I noticed, her, I was like, holy shit, Angerboda's in this game. Are we gonna see Fenrir? <laughs> that's exact. That's literally what I thought. Because you got Loki, Literally, you got I, was like, I want Fenrir. Loki's wife? Uh, I said Loki's wife. I was like, my first thought was, are we going to meet Loki? Are we, yeah, are we going yeah. to Atreus is Loki. Are we going to do this Atreus again? is Loki. You do realize this, right? No, because I didn't finish the first game because oh Atreus is a fuck knight. No. Well, yes, yes. Kratos' son, Atreus, is Loki. That was a name was that, that, was that his actually, mom gave him. Was that, was that officially a thing yep. in the first game? Yep. Holy he find, shit. He, find, he finds that out at the end of the game right before they release his, their mom, his mom's ashes. But yeah, his mom named him Loki, but Kratos named him Atreus. Holy shit. Or boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so no, that's legitimately yeah, I, Loki. I, I, so the whole story right now is preventing Ragnarok and diving deep into like learning who Atreus actually is. And then there's Anger Boda. Not, I just want to be not an asshole because that's kind of why I quit the first game. Like, oh, I he was, was a dickhead, but you know, he was also an angsty teenager. So I mean, <laughs> he wasn't, he was 10 years old. Now he's, yeah, but he, but he was also, he also lost his mom and had an asshole dad. And <sighs> so yeah, he was an angsty ass motherfucker. <laughs> I get it. But I, I was here like, for it. To, I was like, oh my god. Trailer, <laughs> I love it. He was saying some loaded statements. Oh fuck yeah. Hey, dude. Think like a general. Don't think like a father. What do you know about thinking like a father? What do you know about thinking about like a general? Yeah. Like I I can tell that at least through half of the game, Atreus is gonna be an asshole. He's gonna oh, be such man. an asshole, and that's gonna be annoying. I'll, I'll, that, that's my own personal take. 
I, I know, like, it's going to be 2023, game of the year, you know, whatever. It's going to win, you know, it's going to be the game of the year. But if it releases in 2023. Right now, it's actually slated for 2022, I think. It's going to compete with Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Spider-Man 2 is going to get, you know, yeah, they're going to be competing against each I, other. I, 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 I literally, I literally posted about this not long ago um yeah it's slated for uh, on google it says 2022 but okay. who knows who actually knows but um, it's going to get delayed i, I promise you it's going to yeah. get delayed. but the fact that people are pissed off that anger boda is black because she's you know from supposedly supposed to be from jotunheim and everyone's like oh jotunheim giants are supposed to be yellow pale skin i'm like that nowhere does it say that anywhere in norse mythology like at all and also um, there's been a lot of exaggeration when it comes to all Norse characters as far as God of War is concerned from the first game. So you want to talk about accuracy? How about you go back to God of War 1, 2, and 3, you know, and you want to talk about Hercules and you want to talk about these other uh, Greek gods that didn't have the most you know, historical application. Yeah. You know, or the Hell, the weaponsmith in God of War 2018 talks like a freaking Texas oil, <laughs> like a freaking oil dude. Like, come on. He's just like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, okay, guy, what's up? <laughs> so, guys, let us know what you think about any, either of these controversies, um, whether you're mad that Thor's fat or Anger Boat is black, if you're mad that Anger Boat is black, you can kindly fuck off. Are you um, fat shaming <laughs> me? Are you fat shaming me? I'm fat. You basically what? have the body of a god now. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I don't have to work out anymore. I have the body of a god. <laughs> I guess that's true anyways guys let us know what you think about either controversy in the comment section below also let us know what you think about any other topic we touched on today or if you want to touch on anything else in the future let us know in the comments below we want to talk to you guys so please let us talk to us like come on guys we you wanna, know the internet the isn't like talking they like shaming that's so fair. how about we shame do a us. really shame us <laughs> no let's do a really bad video and then you'd be like hey you guys don't know what you're talking about well let's i guess honest, that's all our of our videos are bad <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys we should... <laughs> let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below if you want to shame us that's cool if you want to talk with us that's also cool we should and, change our uh, name so we don't know what we're talking about gaming you know instead of digital diving. our name was going to be filthy casuals but that was already taken anyways guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please hit that like button if not already if you're not subscribed now it's the perfect time to do so we put up videos every friday so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get you know all the news you need to to know what's going on in the gaming industry world Thing. My schedule is actually changing, so Fridays I'm going to be off, so after we do this video, after we upload it, one of us is going to be streaming. You it's know, probably going to be him. Get... Probably going to be him. <laughs> I'm busy. We're going to get our streaming Fridays schedule back up. Days. Come on, man. Like, But yeah, work. we're going to get our streaming this. schedule back up, and we're going to be <laughs> doing this hardcore because we love you, and I like playing games with people. Like, come yeah, on. Right. Amazing. <laughs> yep but anyways guys thank you so much for watching stay excellent and we'll see you guys in the next video peace Woo! out